The Browning M1919 machine gun, as a classic weapon of its generation, was widely equipped and is still in use by a few countries or regions. Sweden is one of the countries that had early access to this weapon and obtained a license to produce it locally, known as the KSPM-22. Over time, the original structure of the machine gun became less suitable for the infantry combat needs. In 1939, the caliber of the machine gun was modified, and in 1942, a more suitable version for infantry combat, the KSPM-42, here and after referred to as M-42, was redesigned. Although the early model of the Browning M1919 machine gun was air-cooled, the actual operation was not as convenient as compared to light machine guns. It needed to be mounted on a tripod to be used for stable shooting. This design was fine before and after World War I, but after the war, the army focused on mechanization and motorization, and the portability of light weapons became a consideration. Strictly speaking, the M-42 machine gun did not reach the level of contemporary general-purpose machine guns. It not only lacked the ability to switch modes, but also became heavier as it was modified. The machine gun still needed to be operated on a tripod, weighing 16 kilograms when empty, while the Browning M1919 weighed approximately 14 kilograms. The barrel part underwent significant modifications. The original Browning machine gun's barrel was completely covered by a perforated sleeve, while the M-42 did not cover the muzzle, and the distribution of the cooling holes was also significantly different, as can be seen from the photos. The M-42 also modified the mechanical sights, with the front sight mounted above the barrel shroud. This modification was necessary because Sweden also modified the caliber of the ammunition, resulting in different ballistic characteristics. Additionally, a carrying handle was added. The M-42 machine gun had three calibers, initially only having two. The ammunition it fired was 6.5 by 55 mm and 8 by 63 mm, with the 6.5 mm being the standard rifle caliber in Sweden at that time, and the 8 mm ammunition being previously used by Sweden for aircraft machine guns and vehicle mounted machine guns. The Browning M1919 initially licensed for production in Sweden was modified to use the 8 mm caliber. The third caliber is the NATO standard 7.62 by 51 mm ammunition, which was actually a modification made to the M-42 machine gun in the 1970s to comply with NATO standards. These modified versions were installed in armored vehicles for use as vehicle-mounted machine guns. The KSPM-42B is the successor version, a version more suitable for infantry, which only fires 6.5 mm ammunition. It added a buttstock and a grip, and the most interesting feature is the bipod. Typically, light machine guns use foldable bipods, while the M-42B's bipod consists of two metal rings that fold up and are placed on either side of the barrel, a design that doesn't seem very practical. The M-42 and M-42B participated in the United Nations operation in the Congo in the 1960s after World War II and were the standard weapons of the Swedish Army. Besides being used as vehicle-mounted machine guns, this machine gun served in the infantry until the 1980s. During World War II, the general-purpose machine gun had already proven to be a practical design concept, and after the war, various countries developed in this direction. Compared to contemporary machine guns, the M-42 was clearly inferior, but it was just a modified version, meeting Sweden's transitional equipment needs. In 1958, Sweden developed the KSP-58 general-purpose machine gun to gradually replace the M-42.